me truth. Eggs in the pan, sunny side up, orange juice and toast, love in a cup. I love cooking. Alright, let's get started. Get a chance to make my chicken sandwich. Fuck me, Jack, look at that. That's what you will need. One to fifteen packets of me goring. One glass bowl and one plastic bowl. One fork and one scissors. Lots of paper towel. Rip. Lots of hot water. Be careful though. And a very hungry stomach. <laughs> First open up your pagora and put it in your bowl. Bowl height to noodle height ratio isn't right, as you can see here. So I'm crush these up. You need to boil your water first. Not hot enough. Now you pour the hot water into the mashed up noodles. Try not to get any spillage because this is really hot water. As you can see, there isn't enough hot water in the bowl. So fill the remainder of the bowl up with any sort of temperature water from your tap. Now she's ready. Let's bang it in the microwave. <laughs> now take them out of the microwave, but watch out because this is when they get really hot. Drain time. You might notice in your flavouring packets that your oil is not right. It should look like this. But it's white. We can fix this by putting it in the cup. Like that. And then getting some more hot water. And pouring it into the cup. That's going to work really well. Magic. Now it's time to cut up your, your packets of flavouring and pour them into the glass bowl. Let's go Jack. There it all is. 
And that's the part where you have to stir it all around with a fork. As you can see, I've put everything on the paper towel for easy pack up. You fold the, that corner to the middle, like that. This corner also to the middle, like that. This corner over here to the middle, like that. And this one just down, like that. Then you want to get this side and fold it to there, along with that just like that. Now you get this one and fold it to there. It should come out to look like a perfect isosceles triangle or like the kids like to call it pirate hat. <coughs> this is the part where you pour the noodles into the bowl full of ethnic flavours. It's now time to mix the noodles in with the mixture to make it taste brown, grey. If you get it from the bottom, it's easier. Now it's time to put the noodles into some bowls for everyone to enjoy. As you can see, we've left some of the onion, the fried onion package, packages to sprinkle on the top for extra onion taste. Let's do that. And now it's time to enjoy with some of our friends. Go, go, hey boys. Mmm. What do you say to a girl with no arms, no legs, and a really thin face? Do you believe in God? Second food that we'll make today is something really quick and easy. It's called a, a sandwich on the go. go. What you need for the on the go sandwich is a knife, some butter, some sort of spreadable spread. In this case, we're, we're using jam and some bread. First off, we're going to start by grabbing our piece of bread. Pre-plated. Secondly, we'll grab a bit of butter, a new top. And lastly, we'll grab our bit of jam. Oh! I need to go out really quickly. I am so hungry. Well, this is the meal for you. This is how it's done. Alright, so Jack, first off, you're going to grab your piece of bread and put that right in your mouth. I haven't eaten anything in days. It'll be a good quick meal for you then. Yeah. Next, you have to put some butter in. Put that right there, yeah. And the last bit is some of this jam we've got right here. How's that, Jack? Quick and fast! And delicious. What's the 
best way to stop the noise in your car? Turn the music on. Can I an apple? Oh look, we've only got one apple. This is really awkward because we both want apples. Hang on, I have a sweet trick for you. Wow, what you need for this is a chopping board and a blade. Now what you're going to do is you're going to put the apple on its side or on its top, wherever that is, like that, and then you're going to cut down like, like that. That's such a good tip. Look, it's like we've got two apples now. Cheers. Now it's time for another sweet secret. This one the kids will even love. For this you need a plate and a bag of marshmallows. Here we are at the microwave, as you can see. Now for this, we're going to open up the marshmallows. and put a few on a plate. For this we'll put on six, which I think is enough for the kids. Now, we're going to open up the microwave. Put them in and set the timer for one minute. The timer's just gone down to zero. Let's see what we've got. We've just got the marshmallows out of the microwave. Turned out pretty well. You can spread it on bread. We can eat it raw. But watch out, it's hot. So is this plate. From us and the crew of Awesome Education, we hope you learned lots and had a great time. See you next time. Bye. Bye. A young woman was sitting on her professor's lap while expounded to her theories of reincarnation. She said, Professor, do you really think I should be sitting on your lap while you expound me to your theories of reincarnation? And the professor said, Oh, what the hell? Cats have nine lives. <laughs>